Good morning, folks. It's Steve Cow 5 juf Hope everyone's doing okay out there. So this is a continuing series of videos I'm doing on uh, two meter upper sideband settings on the FT991A. Uh, I've got a series and I'll link, put the links below to some of the previous videos. But what I want to talk about today is a feature uh, that the uh, FT991A has. It's called SSB Transmit BP, which is the transmit bass pa uh, pass band essentially. And what I want to explain is kind of a little bit about what this setting does. It actually will adjust your different, uh, your your narrow versus a narrower band pass versus a wider band pass, which uh, equates to, uh, you know, better voice quality and so forth. So what we'll do first, we'll talk real quick about upper sideband, what the sideband transmit band pass does, and of course, uh, a typical uh, two meter SSB application. So the ideal here is to kind of give you some ideas if you're looking at uh, do two meter single sideband. It's pretty popular mode. There's a lot of uh, nets and so forth here in the Texas area that do this. So uh, uh, I thought this would be pretty useful. It's, uh, pretty good information. So the FT991A, it's an all mode radio and essentially what that means is you can talk FM, uh, C4 FM, which is the digital or upper sideband and uh, upper sideband on 2 meter and 70 centimeter. Uh, so that's one of the, the selling features on the 991A is you can, uh, you know, you can do sideband on 2 meter, which is pretty popular. So talking about the transmit pass band, what there is is there's essentially five settings in your radio. Uh, the default is going to be 300 to 2700. The settings, uh, the extremes are 400 to 2600 will be the narrowest pass band, and then 100 to 3000 will be the widest uh, pass band. So we'll show you some examples of what that looks like as far as your signal goes. So here are two examples. Um, the first one is the narrowest pass band. And what we're looking at here is this is the suppressed carrier right here that your single sideband has. You have a, uh, what's called your uh, suppressed carrier and you've got an oscillator, BFO, and essentially any uh, modulation out here beats against this uh, beat frequency, oscillator frequency, and it uh, will re replicate your voice essentially. So uh, the only what that means is essentially when you're transmitting is only when you're talking. If there's no talking and there's no audio in the microphone, you're not going to have any power. But when you talk or speak into the microphone, that's when your modulation or your power will happen. So uh, if you work with HF a lot, it works the same way. This is just kind of showing you an example. The narrower setting is, you notice here this pass band is narrower than what this one is. So essentially what this means is your voice quality here on the 100 to 3000 is going to be much deeper, a richer voice essentially because you're using more of the uh, frequency spectrum versus what you're doing here. So the ideal with this is the narrower your frequency spectrum that you're using for your voice, essentially the further the, the reach, the potential reach you have. This would be, for example, this would be the uh, wider setting. Uh, you can see here we're using uh, quite a bit more of the, the frequency spectrum. And we've got a range here. This is the 400 to 2600. Notice we're using less of the frequency spectrum. But this is where the difference is. Essentially, with the more narrower pass band, you have the potential with a more narrower signal to get further out, and that's the ideal with the with this with this setting is you can have uh, reach, which will you would have longer distance on this particular mode, but in this particular mode you might have better voice quality or better uh, acoustical quality. An example here would be CW. Uh, you know, CW has a very very narrow pass band. Uh, it says simply. Uh, uh, that's why CW can go so much further than what voice can. And the same ideal here is this is a look how narrow that is. And of course, your range is going to be extremely much further than voice because this is uh, you, you're not having all that acoustical uh, pass band or the bandwidth as much narrower here. So the ideal is the narrower the pass band, the further potential reach you have. And that's that's why that's kind of why this is important. And 
typically what you want to do is, uh, you know, if you're looking to do long distance two meter simplex, what you might try is to go ahead and give this setting 400 to 2600 a try. Your audio quality of your voice will not be that good. However, your range will be much further or your ability to, to get out further is, is, is there with this. So the ideal situation would be to have a Yagi antenna. Uh, I believe most of it will be horizontal, but you could uh, set up a Yagi and point your antenna a certain direction and it's a very good potential in single sideband and with this narrower mode, uh, you might make a contact. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to go over. We'll go over to the radio next and uh, kind of give you some demo of what this sounds like. But again, the ideal here is this transmit pass band setting. Uh, it controls the amount of uh, band pass or frequency uh, spectrum that you're using in your voice. So the, the narrower that spectrum, the further out you're going to get. Uh, the wider the spectrum, the more quality and higher audio quality voice. And what's pretty cool is if you want to really get to experience this is actually go to your radio and do these settings, but you do them with the headset on. And when you do it with the headset on with your monitor set to around 50 or so, you'll really be able to hear the difference and so forth. So it might be something to fun to do on a QSO too to see if any of your buddies out there can tell a difference. So anyway, we'll switch over to the radio. And again, thanks for watching. We'll uh, jump over to the 991A. All right, hey folks, we're in front of the radio here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up the uh, the uh, setting 1110 sideband transmit uh, BFP. And uh, what we'll do is we'll press the menu setup button once, and we'll scroll down and locate number 110. Now the default setting is going to be 300 to 2700. So if you wanted to change that, you would press select and it'll turn violet and this is the most narrow setting here 400 to 2600 and if you were to press enter here that would be the narrow setting and I'll try to demo it on the monitor I'm not sure how it's going to sound uh, we're going to actually also do it on ham radio deluxe you'll be able to hear it a little bit better Kilo India 5 testing 1 2 that's the narrow and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back and change it to the widest and you're probably not going to be able to hear it very well here but we'll try it select monitors on Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot alright so those are the two settings and what we'll do next is again to turn on the monitor what you want to do is put your headphones on and uh, turn the monitor on and what you'll do is just turn it on and then dial it in, you know, start around 25 or so, put your headset on. And then when you talk in, you'll be able to hear yourself in your headset what your acoustics sound like. So when you make those settings, you'll be able to hear the difference in the lower, in the narrower setting and in the wider setting. One thing I always recommend is uh, leave the MCH button uh, in, in your quick access list here, this is one through four. Uh, that way, you know, whenever you go in and make an adjustment, remember whenever you, any function button you touch here that has an adjustment, the moment you touch it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show up up here, meaning the multi-function multi knob has control of that particular setting. And, of course, to clear that, you have you use the MCH, and that will return this back to memory channel mode, which means now the multi-function knob is acting as a way to change your memory location. So uh, anyway, we'll jump over to HRD and let you listen there. It might give you a little bit better acoustics, but the best way to do this is get you a pair of headphones and uh, go in and make those adjustments on that 1110, and uh, you'll, you're, you'll be able to hear the difference on it. So okay, we'll switch over to HRD real quick, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. This will be the audio setting at 300 and 2700 Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot monitor set to 50. I'm going to go ahead and change it down to the narrowest one. This one's at 400 and 2600 Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. This would be for longer QSOs more narrow passband kilo india 5 juliet uniform foxtrot cq narrow 
400 to 2600. The setting here is 100 to 3000. This is a wider, more acoustical setting for local QSOs. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ 2 meter and listening for a contact. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. This is the wide setting 100 to 3000. This is the narrow setting 400 to 2600. And this is the default, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot Clear.